thank you so much dr sable for coming to this uh, event and for you know giving your time for this short conversation with us so uh, so my first question is basically what is the role of cdsu in approving any drug actually cdsu is a central drug standard control organization and it is a national regulatory authority of uh, india so basically the cdsu deals with the approval of the new drugs and the main function is to ensure the safety quality and efficacy of the drug available in the india and to give them the new drug approvals that is the role thank you so much sir and so when it comes to uh, rare diseases drugs like sma so is there any special consideration given to these kind of drugs actually uh, earlier there was a, a new drug and uh, so whatever we are enforcing that is under the drug and cosmetic act so we had a, uh, we had earlier drug and cosmetic rules 1945 so in that rule uh, more clarity was not there so with the amendment of the new drug and clinical trial in 2019 we have given a lot of consideration for approving the drug expeditedly and uh, with a uh, ease of time so in our the provision we have given uh, provision to expedite the approval processes to accelerate the uh, accelerate the processes of the Uh, drugs which are used for the rare diseases and orphan diseases further we have also given the definition of the orphan uh, diseases and just to promote the manufacturing into the india we have uh, the cdsu has made the provision to not having the uh, fees for application of this uh, type of uh, applications for the approval of these drugs thank you so and so uh we have heard of in the panel discussion you just mentioned about orphan drug so we heard this there so in context of our country what is orphan drug yes so as i have mentioned we have amended our drug rules in uh, 2019 as a new drug and clinical trial 2019 so earlier there was uh, no definition of the orphan drugs and there was difference in the opinion so uh, whether it is a rare disease or whether it is not a rare disease whether the drug for the treatment of this is orphan drug or not but uh, in this amendment we have clearly defined that uh, the orphan drug is the drug which is indicated for the disease or condition which is affecting not more than 5 lakh of the population in the country so that has now been clearly defined in the rules and regulation thank you and so my last question is uh, i believe to approve any kind of drug specifically for rare diseases you require or cdsu require some kind of data to approve yes. that so what kind of data is required to approve such kind of uh, you know rare diseases drugs is required so as per the provision of uh, new drug and clinical trials so there is a comprehensive checklist has been given for approving any drug so it uh, actually it is depend upon the uh, drug which kind of drug is there so basically we need the chemical pharmaceutical data the regulatory approval status in other countries and if it is available in other countries then they have to conduct the clinical trial in this country so based on the drug they have to conduct the phase 1 phase 2 phase 3 and phase 4 trials but if it is like a drug for the orphan diseases or rare diseases so the provision has been given to waive up the phase 3 trials so depending upon the approval status in the other countries and depending upon the availability of the data they have to submit here uh, this uh, safety efficacy report based on that we can give the approvals thank you so much for those questions and answers sir thanks sir thank you very much thank you.